Today we're welcoming a new product to the AutoInstruct online store, and that's Carista, which is an OBD2 diagnostic dongle. It's quite small in size, and all we simply do is plug the Carista into any OBD2 compliant vehicle, and we can do a variety of things with it. We're gonna plug it into our Mark 7 Golf R, and we'll show you what it's capable of doing. So we've plugged the Carista dongle into the car, and we've opened up the Carista app, which is automatically connected. So we're presented with three areas here, Diagnose, Customize, and the Service area. We're gonna go first into Diagnose, run a scan across all the modules in the car, and see what errors uh, may be stored in the vehicle. Now many of these errors won't actually cause check engine lights, but the modules do have issues here and there that they do log. A lot of them are just communication faults or one-off instances. Typically not much to worry about, uh, but very useful for finding those uh, issues that um, are hard to diagnose as these scans tell you the exact answer about what's wrong. It can even show you levels of detail like a speaker not working or uh, an issue with the air conditioning system. So there's a few areas here. We've got 10 faults stored. Um, nothing major, so we're just gonna go ahead and clear those. So once they're cleared, we'll bring you into the customize area now. Um, this scan does take a few minutes as it, as it probes every module in the car. Um, our current Mark 7 has upwards of 20 modules and uh, some Audis have you know, 30 or 40, so it can take some time. So here we've got the doors, windows, remote, instruments, lights, heater and aircon, and then a section for other. So what we'll do first is we'll take a look into the doors, windows and remote area and see what options are available on our car. So here we've got um, a number of options in their current state. So we've got things like beeping when uh, you lock or unlock the car, Open the sunroof if you hold down the button on the remote. Uh, folding mirrors if your vehicle is equipped with that hardware. Um, and certain behaviors like that. So um, plenty of choices here to customize it right to your vehicles. Um, or your needs, I should say. Uh, what else we've got? We've got puddle light control, many things there. So we're going to instruments now. This changes pretty much everything in the cluster. So you've got your units, um, temperature display, uh, things like a lap timer, refuel quantity, which we um, are quite common for people to choose. Uh, oil temperature display as well, if your car doesn't have that. Um, so there's a number of things here as well. Seatbelt warning, so that can be disabled from this menu as well. Um, heading into lighting now, um, we've got the pace car signals enabled in our car, which kind of alternate left to right when you indicate or when your hazard lights are on. Um, you can control corning lights, coming home duration and so forth. So we'll now go into the heater area. Only a couple options here, which is um, showing the blower speed on the dial and uh, remembering the heated seat level, which is a nice feature to have, especially in winter. You know, every time you start the car, it's got the same level as where you left it when you turned it off. And lastly, into other. So these are the real customizable things. Um, sound actor volume, so that's that fake resonating noise. You can disable that here. You can control the ESC behavior, um, hill hold control. They're great ones to um, play around with. This is a throttle response control. Um, we've changed this on ours just now as well um, to change the throttle response behavior on the car. So um, we'll see how that goes. Apparently this other mode is slightly better. And um, I've also disabled the headlight washers on my car because I was sick of them going off every time I tried to wash the windshield. So that's the bulk of um, the customizations available. The last thing we're loading here now is the service area, which allows us to reset the service indicator, which is great if you're doing your own servicing, and also allow you to activate the electronic parking brake, um, which can be useful when you're changing the pads as you have to retract the motor there. So um, yeah, that's the bulk of the features available in Carista on a Mark 7 Golf. Uh, Carista does work with a number of vehicles on the market, but it really works um, optimally with European cars where it's set up to do this intense diagnostics, which is more than a typical OBD scanner can perform.